Crystal Adams is here. Pam Spaeth is here. Lori Barefoot's here. Mara Roby is here. Beth Bernard is here. Lee Wessler's here. Jordan Stern's here. Grace, you here? Grace? You're muted now. Okay. There. Nice. Okay, perfect. Okay, now my video is stopped. We just need <sighs> your voice. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> okay. I'm okay. sorry. So did everybody say who they were? Yes, we did. Uh, well, you got to redo it. <laughs> okay. Lee Wessler's here. Crystal Adams is here. That's Bernard. Pam Space. Oh. Yeah. Lori. Lori. Yeah. Lori Bigfoot. Yep. Mara Roby. Jordan Stern. Yep. Pam Space. Yep. I have and Lee, Beth. Crystal, Pam, and Beth. Jordan. Laura and Jordan. Got it. Okay, and, thank you. Sorry. And Laura, you got Laurie Barefoot. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, is there a motion to approve the minutes? I motion to approve Laurie Barefoot. Is there a second? Second. Pam Space. Okay. Is any discussion on the minutes? Okay, hearing none, all in favor, say aye. Aye. Anyone else in favor? <laughs> Any sure, opposed? Aye. aye. I'm in favor. Okay. Any abstentions? Okay. No public to participate. Um, uh, Grace, Treasurer's report. Okay. We have $1,684 in the budget and $2,161.22 in special. And I do have a question. Jean, did you make it in? She is not, not here. She's not there, okay. I'm questioning, um, we should be getting the invoice from ECCD, which will, you know, knock our budget down by a thousand bucks. So just so people are aware. Nope. Any questions for the treasurer? Okay. Uh, chairperson, nothing to report. Um, Crystal Grace, any communications? Yeah, I received. Sorry, go ahead. I, I received a letter from uh, the last Green Valley asking me to write a letter as to what we've done in their support, which I will do. What, but that's all that I had seen. A letter for? Uh, it's for them um, what we have done to um, promote it last Green Valley and if there was any monies spent in that. They, they ask for it every year. And I kind of just carbon copy what I said the year before. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Jean Pillows joined us. Hi, Jean. Oh, there she is. Okay. You have anything, Crystal? Um, I can run and look in the mail room real quick. I haven't done that yet today. So if you want to move on, I'll, I'll be back in one minute. Okay. Yeah, right. Um, okay. Moving on to old business. Jean, anything for DRC? Uh, we did get a packet from... Uh... Jeff, I don't see anything really new on it. Did you look at it? The, why well, saw p and minutes? You talking about that? No, no, we got a packet, a big fat one. Yeah, I thought that was with, with, the, with the Woodstock, with the, the Academy stuff. The, no, this the one was uh, for their meeting. 
Oh, this is um, an old meeting. There's a whole bunch of stuff. The, pot, the parking is in it. I didn't see anything new. Yeah, I, uh, that's P. Yeah, I didn't see anything this, new. Is this the newest one? Yeah, it was the P. Yeah, that was. It had I mean, the, I saw the, the parking. parking. We're still talking about yeah. the kennel. Yeah. Yeah, I got that too. Yeah. No, I don't see okay. anything that we need to. Okay, so nothing, on. nothing DRC. We didn't meet. Um, okay, Crystal, any communications you find? No. Okay, Crystal, anything about open space? So um, there's going to be a special town meeting October 12th. And the purpose of the town meeting is to amend um, two ordinances and rescind an ordinance that's no longer valid because of a state statute change. So one of the um, ordinances that's being amended is the open space ordinance. Section three is being amended to make it so that each board or commission that has an open space member can also um, have an open space alternate member. Uh, the reason being if the regular member, like I'm the conservation delegate to open space, but if I can't make it, let's say we have Lori who is appointed our open space alternate, then Lori would try to make it. And the reason for that um, amendment is so that they have a better chance of making a quorum because sometimes it's difficult to make a full quorum. So if each participating board or commission has a regular member and an alternate appointed to the open space, then if the regular member can't be there, the alternate can be there. And if the regular member is not there, the alternate can vote. If both, member, the, if both the regular member and the alternate are there, the alternate can take part in the discussion but would not have vote. So do we, do we choose somebody tonight or do we wait till the oh, resolution no, no, no. passes? You have to wait until it, the order, it, has, it hasn't passed. So okay. You have okay. to wait till after the meeting and... Okay, so Lori can think about it for a month. <laughs> <laughs> and you're muted, Lori. I'll just check what day of the week that meeting usually is. Do you actually know, Crystal? Yeah, it is usually the second Thursday of the month at seven. Okay. Right. And anyone else is welcome to volunteer to, I, I, no. I, Crystal I just, just used Lori as an example. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so P and Z, nothing new having to do with us. Um, Grace Ag Commission. Did you have a chance to go? Um, yes, I did. Give me a minute. Um, we spoke about the, uh, yeah. The uh, celebrating agriculture, obviously. And um, they have some things going on with, uh, in conjunction with mm, the Grange. Thank you. Which, of course, um, that's the the workshops that are being presented there from ECCD, and uh, everybody should have gotten copies of that. I think Maura just sent out uh, a new. No, I'm not. I'm sorry. It was somebody else sent out a new version of it? Did you all get that? When, when was that sent? Um today, I think. <laughs> I apologize. Um, my head's not quite with everything. Uh, but I thought Maura just sent out another copy of it. Yeah, I, Jean, did have to, this is Jean. We needed yeah. to change one of the meeting dates from October 13th to November 3rd. But the first yeah. talk will be this Thursday evening. Yeah. And it will be at 6.30 at the Grange, or you can zoom in to the meeting. And the topic is um, small farm manure management. So I see people here in this group that would benefit from listening in to Jim Hyde, who is a very, very um, knowledgeable and fantastic speaker to talk about this subject. And I would hope that we get everybody to sign up or show up to the meeting and the Grange will be selling pie and or refreshments and coffee for, you know, so to make it worth your while. Yeah. Is it, is it going to be recorded, Jean? Do you know? Um, I 
had not thought about that yet. More, more, and I still have to figure out how we can project and use Zoom at the same time and have an external speaker. So <laughs> we're uh, we're going to do some troubleshooting tomorrow. I can help with that if you have any questions. Oh, has it? It's I, I'll might have to call you. You be in the office tomorrow. I will be. Yeah. Um, so the way you do it is you have an HDMI to a VGA cable. Usually that yep. would go from your laptop to your projector system and Correct. you would be zooming. But then when you go to your, to do your, your presentation, you would share your screen. And so then everyone on the zoom call would see what's on, what is being projected because I'm assuming your presentation would be um, like a PowerPoint or something. So you could just yes. have it mailed to you or put it on a flash drive. So people in the audience would see your projector screen. People on the Zoom would see your um, your presentation um, on your laptop. So, have so you done screen. it with a Bluetooth speaker so that if we have a speaker zooming, um, remoting so into the meeting? I do, so that with, I do it with, it's called a blue snowball. It's a special microphone. I think it's called a snowball microphone. Um, but I've done it when I had Tom Hennick uh, do a presentation for FOI via Zoom. Um, but then I've also done it with live people using uh, the microphone that I have. Thank you, okay. Crystal. That will be helpful. You're welcome. Give me a call tomorrow if you need help. Thank you. You're we welcome. will. <laughs> okay. when, is, when is this meeting? Oh, Thursday. Thursday evening at 6.30 at the Grange. Or on <clears throat> right? the Synexic Grange, which is on Route 169. Um, is everybody familiar with the Synexic Grain, the stone, the stone building kind of near the academy next to Rondo's oh, yeah. garage? Oh, yeah. It's right down the street from mid. Yeah. They're past Joyce, past uh, Sweet Avelina's. Coming from your direction, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Just to let people know, too, it, it's a fundraiser, too, for the grain. She's going to help them out as far as their sales of pie and coffee or whatever refreshments. So it's, it's but, a good thing. The subject matter is one that I believe all commission members should be familiar with because it's an issue that we deal with on a routine basis in an agricultural community. So if we're all aware of the issues, it'll make us better at our volunteer jobs. There's also be a Zoom option, right? You said there's a Zoom option and a in-person option. If you you need to contact me at work to register <laughs> the program. Or Robbie, okay. Robbie at Comcast.net. Yeah. Or dot Roby at Comcast.net. Did I say that right? You did not the first time. I know. I hey. We right. forgive you. You dented your helmet yesterday. <laughs> we already talked about that. <laughs> well, let me know if it's. Rec I I have to go to a medical conference meeting. It's just Thursday, but it. Let me know if it's recorded or if there's any handouts. Okay, Maura, I didn't know your. I can't see who's on there because I'm on my uh, tablet. So. Um, We'll make a decision tomorrow whether we're going to record them. I think it's useful to record them. So, yeah, if it's easy enough, we might as well. Sorry, we've taken up a lot of time doing talking about this, but that's okay. <clears throat> um, so, any questions for Grace on the Ag Commission? Okay, anything anything new with stewardship? Uh, not on my end. All right, I just had to unmute. Um, nothing new, no, just, I just wanted to put the call out there for help. I would love to go to some spots and just get out in the woods and check things out. I just need somebody who can work with me and get to the town hall during the week because I just can't because um, of my job and just get locations and whatever else we need. Um, so that uh, I know where to go. So if there's anybody who's interested in working with me, let me know. And I know Lori wanted to help out, but I, yeah, I'm not sure, Lori, if you're available then. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm interested in going, but I can't get 
to the town hall during the week either. Yeah. It's my chance. Well, I, uh, <laughs> Beth, this is Grace. I can probably help you out with that. Um, um, just not for the next two weeks. <laughs> I am going down to Florida. No problem. All right, we can but, check with it about it later. Yeah. Thanks. Uh-huh. Hey, uh, Gene, uh, pollinator pathway, any update well, on that? We did have a display at celebrating egg day, but I wasn't there. So I was hoping that those that were there can give me feedback on how it went. Did we give away all the medallions? Did we get more people to sign up? Well, I was waiting for a celebrating egg day review, but, um, as you brought it up, we gave away some of them. I did not give them away loosely. Um, I gave them to people. Pam and I were the only two that were at Ag Day. And um, we did give out some, and I do have your list. Uh, people did sign up for your emails. So I will get them down to you at some point. I um, thought it was fairly well attended, better than I'd hoped for. Uh, we gave away a lot of posters. There seemed to be a lot of interest. Good. Well, thank you. Thank you, Grace and Pam, for uh, stepping up and manning the, the place. Um, oh, you're welcome. And as long as we're there, Pam and I sat and we were discussing that our displays and everything are lovely, but it would really be helpful. And I did go and price them. Uh, if we had a banner that said Woodstock Conservation, because everybody who came to the table and Pam can back me up on this, they said, who were we? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Banner and, for Woodstock Conservation Commission would for put the front of the table. Uh, um, yes, would be. A and I idea. did go. I did go and price it at Chase, and uh, we could get a very nice banner that approximately 18 inches high that we could put on t either on the front of the table or for celebrating egg, of course, we could put it up on the wall, but 18 inches high and about five foot long uh, would cost us less than $80. It Wonderful. would be on vinyl. It would be on vinyl. So obviously it will last hopefully longer than we will. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think open space has a nice banner if I remember and I know when I was doing the playground um, we got a really nice banner from Staples too it really does go a long way to, to make a good impression and get people over to you exactly <laughs> as I say when you know we can stand there and talk and we did we did a lot of talking about your pollinator pathway and people were very interested all of the other things and then they'd look at the other items that we had and it's like you know what, if they knew up front who we were, I think it would be very helpful. But um, that's my two cents yeah, anyway. I think, a, I think it's a good idea. Do you want to make a formal motion? Yes. <laughs> I would like to make a motion that we have a banner made, which I'm told will be less than $80 um, for any displays that we have to do. Yeah, I have is there a question a... in the future. I yes. have a question. Sure. So how does it go on the table? Like, does it hang? Like, how does it attach? Yes, it, it, it. it has um, grommets on it. Oh. So that basically on the wall, you can either just put string or whatever. Um, or I actually, they do have one that has a folded piece that would go on the front of the table. Um, personally, I think the I grommets think, are a good way to do it. It doesn't get damaged oh, yeah. that way, and you can just hook and it And they're off. a whopping two dollars a piece. So you know, as I said, the whole I was very impressed the fact that, um, as I say, it, it comes in at less than eighty bucks. <laughs> I said I think it's well worth the price. So on the table, you'd have to tape it because the grommets wouldn't work on the table, right? Well, you string it, you put string around. You string, you string around the legs. it on, yeah. Right. String, string around what? The legs. The legs. Oh, okay. Of the table, yeah. Or even the top. 
you could bring it around the top of the table and put it under the tablecloth. Yeah, there's multiple ways. Okay. Yeah, there's multiple. I just right. couldn't picture it. Okay. Do we want to have a, I mean, I think this is a great idea. Um, does somebody have um, a design concept for this? I mean, yes. do we put the town logo on it? Do we just, you know, what font? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of choices to me. Um, basically, I spoke to them and I just assumed we should write out the Woodstock Conservation Commission and um, white background and they had suggested green lettering and I had said, well, kind of woods and Woodstock, I would go with brown, <laughs> but you know. Do we have a logo? Something. The town Do has a, a logo. logo. The town, the town does, we don't, oh. yeah. There is something that I use when I post the, um, when I post the minute on the, when I post this Zoom meeting on the town YouTube page, there's a, a, a photo that says Woodstock Conservation Commission that I use to, it's a nice picture. Um, let me see. Yeah, I could send that to you because that would be nice. I don't know where it came from. I might've just taken it from the town, from the Woodstock Conservation Commission website. Um, but yeah, send well, uh, send it along. And as I said, uh, Chase was very nice. And, you know, I mean, I was just very pleased with the price. So, you know. Yeah, actually, if, if, if you want, I can share the screen. Let me pull up the YouTube video. Yeah. Okay, so give me one minute. I'm going to share my screen. Crystal, do you know if Open Space got theirs from Staples or from Chase? Chase I'm is not, local, local business. So Staples tends to be a little less. I'm not Money. sure you'd want to, um, we'd want to check with Dawn on that. Okay, so you should now be seeing my screen. It's the town um, YouTube channel. It's where we post the links to the Zoom meetings. Oh, yeah. There are you can see, usually I use the town seal, but... Um, I found this Woodstock Conservation Commission. It might have been from our website that I took the picture from the Conservation that, Commission that's website. The website. Yeah, so, inside the website. So yeah, so that's where I got it from. So that's an idea also. Yeah, it's nice. That's, nice. that's cool. Uh, as I say, I mean, I just uh, as I said, I spoke to them this afternoon, and um, I can forward it, you know, and tell them we want that on there also. The only thing I would do differently, um, if this is going to be for a big banner, is um, I don't know, maybe make the background gray or make the letters Woodstock Conservation like outlined in bold, like something to make it jump out um, a little bit more than it does from the background. Uh huh. Um, sure. As I, I agree. Said, I, I mean, I I can yeah. definitely go and talk to them, and you know, I just had to float it out there and get the approval before I went back. So what I would recommend is maybe we make a motion to give, you know, a little bit more money, you know, for um, the ability to spend up to a certain amount. And that gives okay. us more leeway as far as how things would look um, mm -hmm. like, the, you know, maybe you could, we could compare staples to Chase um, and ask for a proof to see what it looks like and then move on it. Well, I think we, crystal. What, you don't think we should use Chase because they're Woodstock? Uh, yeah, that's kind of where I was going. Well, yeah. Ch Chase isn't they aren't they Putnam? Right. Chase is yes, but we've also worked with them before. Chase is there's a oh. Chase traffic in Putnam. Okay. I think it's a white... Chase Lumber. I usually I'm thinking around. Chase Lumber, yeah. Okay, then, yeah, then we should compare, I'd say compare prices if, it, if Chase oh. is Putnam. Oh, okay, Fine. Grace. No, if Grace did the lake work, then let's that, take That's Grace's. all right, you know, I. <laughs> so well, I'd rather use a eight. local business than Staples, but especially we're not talking about a great deal of money here. Okay. Well, that's, so let's go that's with, the whole thing. It's not a massive amount of money. Um, definitely, as I said, I'll go, I'll, when Crystal, when I get the picture from Crystal, I'll send, show it to them. 
I just wanted to get it out there and before I went, you know, hog wild with anything. Well, your motion was, you said $80 in your motion, right? Yes. Yeah, so the motion's up to $80. So that's part of the motion. Okay. But it, it, it's expected it should be more if you add graphics. So I think it's, yes. I, so I think say that up you're, to 100. Yeah, up I to 100 might, sounds like a good idea. Okay. You might need a little more than that. Yeah, and two feet by six feet might be a better ratio. It's also two feet by six feet is a little bit, mm, well. Do you want me to ask Ron? I saw that they actually showed me the, their panel is two feet by six feet. Um, it's kind of large. Mm -hmm. I don't think, you know, you're just looking for something with the wording. Uh, we're not looking for a, a major poster. Yeah, we don't want it longer than the table. Right? No, no. And the table, I think the tables are six. Also, if you start getting them too um, wide, they, they end up falling off, falling down. It, the grommets won't hold them. So a little bit smaller the size that you mentioned is good grace um and unless we can't fit all the information on it oh wait what they, was the length what was the length that you had said grace oh god um five feet i think yeah oh. you said five feet yeah that's that's a good table length yeah, yeah. Do you and know the bottom the line is when they design it they certainly will design it so that the whole name fits Okay, that's so. your concern. I just, I just, I don't like the white lettering personally. So that's just my, especially oh, if the back. it's not going to be white lettering. Oh, well, that's the what lettering. was shown by no. Crystal. So, oh, the Crystal I... suggested changing the color. Yeah. So, I and mean, black, we can make it black. As, yeah. Black on the white background would stand out. Well, blue. I mean, black. Blue. blue. Why because black? there's green, there's the green well, how leaves. About tree woodstock, you know? <laughs> tree brown. <laughs> okay, brown and green, that goes. You know. <laughs> well, again, um, I will ask them to do a mock-up and I'll yeah, that'd be good. show it to everybody so that, you know, we can worry about it then. How's that? Okay, so is there a second for the motion? Second. Okay, any further discussion? Okay. So all in favor of the motion to spend up to $100, Grace is gonna go to Chase for a two by five Woodstock Conservation Commission um, banner. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay, motion passes. Thank <laughs> We can hear you, Grace. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I don't think she cares. Yeah. Let's put it. Let's put it this way: sitting there for six hours with Pam, <laughs> we did some speaking, <laughs> but we did actually get the word out to people. And as I said, you know, as much as we wanted the pollinator, and it was a lovely display, and people did come and look at it, but it's like they need to know we have other stuff too. Um, I did put push some of the septic tank, you know, maintenance things on people and they took them and appreciated them. And it's just like, they need to know that we do, we do other things at the Conservation Commission. And wells as well. People were interested in about, about uh, wells and why they should check the water. Yeah. So anyway, thank you for that. And, um, as I say, hopefully by next month, I'll have a, a mock-up for us. Okay, any further, any no, questions? No, Rush, I don't think we have it. Pam or Grace. Thank you okay, for, so, for representing us. And then, um, so back I have to- a question. I do have oh, one sorry. more question. I yes. have one more question about Pollinator Pathway Lake. I don't know how many medallions are left, but- Four or uh, five. Yeah, four or I'm five. Sorry, I was gonna say four or five. So, so if we wanted to, to continue this, we need to um, find a source of money to buy more medallions. And 
there may be some small grant opportunities through local banks that support efforts like this. Um, I, I just don't know, you know, what's available right now, but I mean, Grace said that if we bought them in bulk, they're $3 each, and we might want to get, you know, like another hundred of them at some point. Is this something sustainable Connecticut would? Okay, so yeah, up so, to Crystal so, there. Yeah, Jean, so Sustainable Connecticut does matching grants. So mm -hmm. um, I think this is something that would qualify. So we can look into that. Um, you know, we, you'd write a proposal and send it to them. And then, you know, if we say, okay, we're gonna put forward uh, $200 and then they would match it, you know, and then we'd, we'd buy the um, pathway medallions with that, with those funds. We'd have to get the public to source the match. We couldn't do it through our budget. Yeah, okay. that's, that's the way they work it. So we'd have to say, hey, we're gonna apply for a grant. If you can, we're looking for um, so much contribution, see if we're able to donate towards it, but that way we can get it sustainable in Connecticut. But I, I thought we'd wanna, I mean, you're allowed to, get up to what 25,000 but I don't know how it works can we get like 10 grants that add up to 25,000 or just one grant a year so I would I'd hate to waste our one opportunity on $200 worth of medallions <laughs> I, don't I don't know don't, the answer to that I don't think it's limited like that but I'm going to be emailing Chadwick tomorrow this week so I can ask thank you thank you Okay, which is a segue to Crystal, anything new with Sustainable Connecticut? So Jean had sent me um, a question about, and I haven't had a chance to get back to you, I've been swamped um, uh, about the pollinator pathway for the, for the Sustainable Connecticut action. And Jean, I will get that information to you because it is a little tricky to find on their website how to go ahead and do that certification. Also to get full credit for the, um, the action about boards and commission members getting trained. I think you need three different people from three different boards or commissions attending different training classes. I know um, we could do all three people from just our commission alone, but we have to include for full credit others. So I'm gonna check and see. I know planning and zoning does like yearly um, training with Rich Roberts. I'm gonna see if that would count and I'll reach out to some other plan, uh, boards and commissions to see if anyone's taking any classes or training. Um, you know, if there's somebody from ag going to the Grange activity, maybe that would count. So right. uh, we'll reach out. And um, so that's one of the actions that I think we can easily um, get done soon. Yeah, and, and as soon as I figure out how to file the paperwork, I'll be putting that in. So we can start getting some points. Great. Any questions for Crystal? Okay, moving on. Um, any so the solar panel question is still on the agenda. Gene, any is that taken care of? What we heard from the selectmen already. I think that's been tabled until um, that. Was, I think we had a discussion about that. That um, it's. Oh, you're, you're breaking up. Breaking up. happens at the state level. So yeah. I, I reached out to at Rich the Roberts. Go, Crystal. Okay, I reached out to Rich Roberts to ask that question. And yeah, so right now there's several um, court cases going on where even though large scale solar facilities were not intended to be exempt, um, they are taking the position that there's a different section of the Connecticut state statutes 12-81 that exempts them from property taxes anyways, even though they were not meant to be exempt. So there's several court cases pending that are trying to settle that. And until that, those cases are resolved and we know which way the state is going to move on that issue, um, we are going to leave our ordinance alone. Um, and that is, the opinion of our town council. And also um, he checked with another attorney that does a lot of land use um, activities. So they both advised that we wait and see 
how those court cases resolve because that will determine um, how or if we need to amend that ordinance. So it is being watched. Thank you. You're welcome. So it, we can take it off the agenda and when you hear something, Crystal, you'll let us know. Absolutely. Thanks. Okay, moving on to new business. Well, we talked about the Grange workshop. Any other workshops coming up or anyone have the opportunity to attend the workshop? Nobody? I've been going to workshops on uh, climate change and okay. there's a series of them. And the general consensus of the experts is that we're in for a wetter than normal period going forward in this part of the country. Oh, but it's better than a drought. <laughs> I was worried about the drought. Okay, Any anyone else have any workshops or anything to discuss? Okay, I went so. to, um, this is Beth. I went to yep. a, uh, a tour of the Hull sawmill facility. Um, oh, yeah. I don't know if any of you have been there, but it was fun and fascinating. Um, that was part of the master woodland manager program, but uh, if anyone is is interested in having one to attend for the public, I, I'd be happy to set one up just through Goodwin or CFPA. Um, it's it's a pretty cool facility. They have a booth at Ag Day, right? Yeah, yeah. So usually I think they go to the fair to the Woodstock Fair, and they do stuff for Walktober sometimes. So they're yeah, they're a big part of the community, which is nice. Okay, open discussion. Crystal? I don't have anything. Lori? I don't have anything. Maura? I just hope to see everybody at the Grange talk and I hope that some of the Ag Commission folks, I can get them to come because nobody has signed up yet from the Ag Commission. So we'll see. Hey, Beth? I uh, just wanted to let everybody know that the uh, the trail on the Hibbard property that abuts uh, Pond Factory Road, the CFPA trail, is pretty much done. Um, wow. It's a small thing. Um, they had uh, a, an AmeriCorps crew come and, and finish up a lot of it. And we're looking to do kind of a, a trail opening day, like a hike, a guided hike sometime in November. So I'll keep you all updated about the date when we choose it. Yeah, it should awesome. be good. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> hey, Pam? Nothing. Jordan? Jordan? Nothing. Grace? No, I'm good. Oh. I think for Mara, though. Go ahead, Jordan. Mara, I sent that uh, request to your, your email that I have here, not the Comcast one. Is that OK? Okay, but I'm not going to read it till tomorrow. That's fine. It's a request at Thursday. <laughs> hey, Grace, Grace, you said you're okay? Yes. <laughs> Where in Florida are you going? Uh, actually, I'm going to my son's house in Jacksonville. Right. And uh, then we're actually going to go down to Orlando. His uh, boss offered us his uh, two bedroom condo for four days. So <laughs> we'll have a wonderful some of that. Well, the Broadwing, Broadwing Hawks migration is going on right now. So I'm excited for that. Have a good time. I hope so. <laughs> Just had my car checked out. So I should be good to go. Drive careful. Thank you. Jean? Are you ready to fall on the floor? I have nothing. <laughs> First time in uh, 10 years or ever. 15 First years. Time ever. How, how long I've been here. <laughs> okay. So is there anything else for the good of the order? Okay. Any do I hear a motion to adjourn? Make the motion to adjourn. Jordan, second. Anyone second? Yes, me, Mara. Okay. Meetings adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Night. Have a